Hi there, my name is Sunil Yadav and today we are going to talk about like um, what is test container. So this session is basically is advanced level. So if you know uh, right uh, what is J unit 5, how we can use Maven, how we can use Docker, right? So that is really help helpful. But if you don't know, I will try to explain it in more detail and hopefully you will understand it so let's get started so i'm going to talk about test container so what is test container and how we can use so in our programming so basically we use JUnit 5 for unit testing but if you are using kafka mongodb or any database so how we can test it those dependency like we are running in container simpler we can run locally so those things I am going to explain over this. So let's move on. Test container website. So this is official website of test container actually. So if we go over here, so we are seeing test containers. What is test container? <coughs> so test container is a Java library that support J unit tests, provide lightweight throw away instances of common database selenium web browsers anything else that can run in docker container so similar if you if you are things are able to run in docker similar all those things you can run through the test container you, this is also supporting like data access layer application integration test we can do ui acceptance we can do and much more so we have so many things but let's understand how we can use spring boot with mongodb and test our spring boot uh, mongodb dependencies so if we type here mongodb and go to users example so here we are trying to say here how we can create the container object right and we, what dependency you need need here so this is gradle and maven dependency we need to put under other maven home.xml or gradle.xml build.gradle or build.gradle.kts file okay so I have created um, the code from this uh, start spring that in slices. Similar, you can do that if you go to here uh, in start.spring.io URL and type select actually Java 2.4.2, the default versions. I think by default selected, and just we need to use two dependencies spring reactive and spring MongoDB. Once it's downloaded, uh, what else we need to put here in this our pom.xml these extra dependencies basically uh, like uh, test container and 1.15.1 and j j unit jupyter support with test container and test container mongodb right so these dependencies we need to run the whole program that's it so once we have what we are going to do here i have created the employee class this is a uh, like representing mongodb employee uh, document and in this i'm going to try to create uh, one document in this collection employee collection and store into mongodb okay so i have created also employee repository and this employee repository i what i'm going to do here i'm saying this is my employee repository and i'm going to extend reactive repository and if you see the signature of employee reactive mongo repository we are saying this is our employee class it means this is collection name collection object and what is the key so we have key string a type that is id in employee.java right if you can see here we can see here okay and in test container this is just simple spring boot application we need this annotation on the top of it and run the spring boot application that's it and uh, in mongodb.test class what i'm doing here if you have used mongo uh, like a uh, mongodb with spring boot so i think you know it we need to put a spring boot uh, test annotation that is going to be run as a test uh, as a test actually profile and this is the test container we need to annotation to enable to run our this is j unit 5 into test container mode all right and this is the auto wired repository i am here going to get this instance of the employee repository and uh, here i am trying to create the container object so if you want to create mongodb container object we need to use this uh, uh, class this class is already coming through the library and we need to pass what docker image you want so if if we let's go to our 
docker hub official then we can see here these are the tags basically we have so i'm using the latest tag so if you go to tags so i am using 3 4 point 4 point 4 point 3 okay and um, we can go here and see how junit 5 we are using if you are not aware of it so you, you can learn from junit 5 url as well so here i am trying to create the container so create container object is created here now once container object we need to start the container so in the junit 5 life cycle before anything is going to run any method is going to run so we are saying before all please create start the our container now its container is going to start so i am trying to test here is is really a container is started in the ip address and is running in the port number if it is running then we will good for it otherwise it is going to be create some exceptions in the exception block so <coughs> if that is good then i am trying to save uh, one employee object into database and try to uh, get the result from the container so let me put the first validation a right name here so what i'm trying to do here i'm creating the employee object i'm trying to set name of the employee's name and i'm saving to database so this is not actual database uh, because i'm using in inside the container mongodb database so because if you see right i have not, I haven't written any uh, you know router or anything to use in this application mongodb i'm going to use mongodb into test class itself but for like uh, writing the unit test First, we need to write write all the cases through the uh, like uh, test driven approach first then write the production code so that is ideal state so what i am going to do here if database save into repository and then i am going to block it because uh, i need um, right away i wait for the object it should be saved and give me the object whatever save in mongodb and if mongo is if that that object is not null then i am comparing if the save object and the, the object both are matching or not so let's run it so once it's trying to run then we can see here in more details what what is doing here is trying to get the registry download from mongodb version like 4.43 from the docker registry and try to create the container object right and here we can see more details right is doing the same thing the way you are using database connection and others See the both are passed. So this happy scenario. Let's say I am putting here in place option here. Let's see the expected object should be unnull, right? So let's see it's working or not. So it should be failed. Because should both are not matching. Yeah, as you see, the expected value is anil, but we are getting, we got sunil, right? So this is really helpful. Uh, not only MongoDB we can test, we can test uh, Kafka as well in this one. So so, so similar way, like we, we can do uh, like so many things with test container. We can uh, try to test our com component, whatever we are going to deploy into containerization environment. So that will really help. I will try to create more videos on test container i really like this test containers to be more evolve and learn okay thank you hopefully you like this video and thank you for your time please subscribe my channel and share your feedback thank you for your time